Airbnbs are back, high rises are coming, and Top Golf is taking over San Diego. These are three of the biggest stories, the biggest things coming to San Diego that you probably haven't even heard of yet. My name is Dan Parker with the Best Life Home Team, your San Diego real estate resource. And instead of making you wait, let's dive right into these stories. Now, first off is something that San Diegans have been waiting for for a long time, which is Top Golf. Golf is huge here in San Diego. Top Golf is the number one golf attraction throughout the US. So this is really, really exciting story here. And if you don't know the backstory, Topgolf has actually been proposed and denied on several occasions over the last couple of years here in San Diego. But here's where it gets interesting. Over the last couple of months, not only did we get one Topgolf approved, but now we have a proposal for a second Topgolf here in San Diego as well. Now, whether you're a golfer or care to golf or not, I think this is something that you're gonna wanna check out. And for anyone that's been to a Topgolf, let us know in the comments below, is Topgolf just for people that golf or is it really for anybody? So if you've never been to a Topgolf before, just imagine this and we'll throw some videos and some images so you guys can check this out. You have this a huge state-of-the-art entertainment venue, chef-inspired restaurant and bar, tons of event spaces. I mean, they, they throw concerts, they do all sorts of things. And of course you have the driving range where you can hit your golf balls. But this isn't your standard driving range. This is a multi-level climate controlled, futuristic driving range that is designed around having fun with friends. And it really doesn't matter your experience level for anywhere from beginner to expert, you're gonna have fun at this place. They have light up targets, digital tracking, and all sorts of games that you can play. So it turns golf into a fun group activity. So just a reminder, or if you didn't know already, Callaway, who owns Top Golf is headquartered here in Carlsbad. So they aren't just building these Top Golfs because it's a great place to make Top Golfs. They intend to make the location downtown San Diego or the location on Harbor Island their flagship store. And it really is gonna be a sight to see. If you don't know Harbor Island in San Diego, it's basically part of Point Loma. It's fairly close to the airport, but it's right in front of the bay with the backdrop of downtown San Diego. That's where you're gonna be hitting your golf balls. It's gonna be one of the most epic views, one of the most amazing entertainment venues throughout San Diego County. So that location is a little bit farther along. It's already been approved by the Coastal Commission, which is a tough thing to get around here in San Diego. The second location is going to be in Sorrento Valley, or that's what they're looking at. So they're really early on in the stages of planning this and getting approval for the second location, but it seems very promising. It's not gonna be as difficult as getting it built along the coast. And the second story is something that you need to know about. Airbnbs and short-term rentals are back. So here's what you need to know. The city of San Diego spent the last year to year and a half putting new policy and lottery in place to limit the amount of short-term rentals or Airbnbs to 1% or less of the total amount of homes. And the thought is this is gonna take thousands of short-term rentals off of the market, turn them into long-term rentals so locals can actually live in these properties or turn them into homes for sale. So more homes going into the housing market. We need more housing here. And this is their thought. Let's, let's put more of these towards long-term housing for San Diego residents. The reality is this ended up being kind of a huge disaster for the city of San Diego, with the exception of Mission Beach, which had completely different rules because of its very high percentage of short-term rentals. I mean, it really is just like a vacation place. You can't really drive around there. It's really hard to park on the street. So it's ideal for short-term rentals. But with the exception of Mission Beach, the rest of the city of San Diego didn't even end up going to a lottery. That's right, they had so few applicants for people applying for a short-term rental that they didn't even have to go to a lottery. In fact, there's still open spaces available. As of today, there are still around 2,000 whole home vacation rental permits available in the city of San Diego. And here's why this is important. If you were looking or waiting for this to flood the housing market with homes for sale and help bring prices down, that's obviously not gonna happen. And the same thing with the rental market, you know, this isn't pushing a bunch of long-term rentals onto the market. But if you were looking to invest in a short-term rental and you were worried because of this new policy going into place, there's still major opportunities to be had here in the city of San Diego, but also throughout San Diego County. But here's the great thing. If, if you do wanna go down that path and purchase a short-term rental, the policy is already in place. So you don't have to worry about a new cap or lottery coming down the line that's gonna completely ruin your business. And if that is something you're looking to do, my team and I, we can absolutely help you out. We helped some clients close on a property in North Park just last week, and they just received their license for their short-term rental, so they're good to go. Check out our link below for a discovery session where we can book a 30-minute free Zoom consultation together and talk about the opportunities and what would make sense for you. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about are new homes coming here to San Diego, and I talk a lot about the lack of new construction homes. It's true, there, there's not enough new homes being built. 
But the truth is there are some awesome new developments coming here in 2023, and there are two in particular that I think that you should really know about. The first one is gonna be Cadence in Oceanside by KB Homes. This is gonna be 50 single family homes. It's five miles from the ocean, and it's in the best value coastal community in San Diego County, if you ask me. You're looking at single family homes starting at $800,000. Brand new single family homes in a wonderful location, not too far away from the beach, for starting at $800,000. I mean, you really can't beat that. Now, this is an opportunity for people, you can put a deposit down now if you are looking to move in next year. Um, there's still several months out before anyone is able to move in on these properties, but we have a client who just put deposit down last week. We have another client who's looking to put a deposit down uh, probably up here in the next couple of weeks. So this is a very hot, very popular complex and development that if you are interested in new construction, if you are interested in Oceanside, you have to check this one out. And the next development that you need to know about is also North County in Encinitas. This is for me, the most long awaited development that I am most excited about. This is Fox Point Farms in Encinitas by Shea Homes. In total, it's gonna have 250 units. They're calling them townhomes, flats, and cottages with 25 different floor plans. So get this, this is a, a 21 acre project. It's gonna include a 5.5 acre working organic farm and restaurant, along with being LEED Gold certified. So it has a lot going on here and it's gonna be a very unique property. It's also basically in the heart of Encinitas. I mean, you could bike to everywhere in Lucadia, downtown Encinitas, the beach, everything you need is very, very close. And if you look at some of these architectural plans, some of these mock-ups, I mean, this is going to be a beautiful, a stunningly beautiful community. And based on the pricing for Encinitas, which is one of the most expensive places to live here in San Diego, it's incredible what you can get for that. Now, I don't have all the details on pricing because they're still a little bit out. They aren't accepting deposits on properties. They're just starting to get some of this information out, but they're looking to have units starting in the 700,000s and going up to 1.5 million. If you're coming from other places and you're saying, Dan, that is an outrageous price, for a home, then you don't know San Diego very well. Encinitas is expensive. Being that close to the coast for under a million dollars for a brand new property is absolutely wild. Now, I'm probably gonna do an entire video on this complex because I think it is so cool and interesting and fun. Currently, they're grading the land and I know there's gonna be a lot more information here coming soon. And the last story today is about bringing high rises to the long neglected section of Point Loma in the Midway District. So this is something that San Diegans, you know, people living in the city of San Diego got to vote on. This was Measure C. This was to increase the 30 foot height limit in the Midway District. And honestly, it passed by a crazy small margin. This could have gone either way. Anyone that's been to the Midway District knows this is not the highest and best use of the area. It's a prime location in San Diego. It's currently just outdated strip malls. A lot of times it's a place to drive through when going from one place to the next. So this height limit increase is crucial to a full revitalization of the Midway District for new businesses, public space, and much needed housing. It's also a critical step into the plan to redevelop the sports arena complex, which I've talked about in previous videos. This is one part of San Diego that is desperate for change, and in my mind, ripe for redevelopment. You're talking mixed use buildings, walkability. I think it is perfect for this area. But what do you think? Is this good or bad news for San Diego and Point Loma? And as much as I'm excited about what's coming to San Diego in 2023, you really need to see the future vision for San Diego, which I broke down in this video right here. And if you are looking to buy or sell a home in San Diego County, my team would love to help. Our info is down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.